And welcome back to another exciting episode of Beer Bros. What do we have for this time, Keith? Today we are talking about ales. Ales? Do you have do you have beer that cures my ales? That was a bad pun. That was really bad. It was an attempt at a pun. Give me some beer. A very poor attempt. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, Keith, so uh, today's ales, that's actually one of my favorite kind of brews, which I learned recently, well, about a month ago, that half the beers are ales and half the beers are lagers, and sometimes lagers are ales and ales are lagers, right? Yes. Well, maybe not. So. <laughs> All right, so given that, let's uh, get on with the first one. Why don't you pick one out for us? Why don't I pick one out for us? Yeah, yeah why don't you pick one out? Whatever. P okay. Give me a Thank you. Today we are starting with the sword. Iron by Iron Swan, uh, by Real Ale Brewing. Okay, Real Ale Brewing. We've had them before. Yeah. I want you to give me a glass over there. Let's see. All right. Oh, a lighter color than I was expecting. All right. Decently thick head on that one. Look at that perfect pour. It's not gonna not gonna tip over at all. <laughs> give me a smell. What do you think? It smells like beer. It smells like beer. Well, I would hope so. I guess it could be, for us, it could be cider or something else, but mostly beer. So, we have the Sword Iron Swan Ale from Railroad Brewing Company. Let me give it a smell quick. Yeah, yeah, just typical lighter beer smell. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a tiny bit of a, a aroma of hops. A very, very small amount. So, I'm going to give it a clinky. Drinky. Cheers. There are the hops that I was smelling. Yeah, fairly bitter. Yeah, a little bit bitter for for a, a regular ale that I would not that I'd be thinking of, but a little bit crisp, a little bit smooth, mm -hmm. not nothing too in your face, just a overall pleasing beer. Give me some, give me some notes on that. I think you covered it. I can definitely taste the hops. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, smooth. Yeah, it, it's a uh, it's one of those that I could have a couple of. Uh, you know, I it, I'm not a big fan of hops, but it still works for me. It's mm -hmm. um. It's enjoyable. It's yeah, like I said, a little bit crisp. But it's just colors great. I think it could go well with a lot of meals. You know, kind of maybe like a fish or a chicken or something like that. Maybe just with, with potato chips. I don't know. It's something salty and something uh, something lighter. I would say. But a definite, uh, definite good beer. So Real Ale Brewing Company did a pretty good job. Cool. What do we have here today, Keith? We have Cocoa Brown from Kona Brewing Company in Hawaii. All right, yeah, we've had uh, the Kona Brewing Company on, on the show before. Mm -hmm. If uh, you go to this link here, you'll in, see in our- how many months? Uh, I'll, I'll do it in three weeks after it airs. <laughs> <Get a hold. laughs> so, no, we've had Kona Brewing Company before uh, with our Hawaii episode and our state of, the, state of Beer in the Union, and it was actually quite a delicious episode. Hawaii, nothing was, for me, I guess it was earlier in our journey, and it wasn't that nothing was overpowering for me, mm -hmm. and I love it. It was it was easy to drink, so I hope this one is uh, the same way. So you can can you guess what makes this uh, special? You what, say what? cocoa. Is that is that well? But it's from Hawaii. Is, is, is it chocolate or is it cocoa nut? Take a smell. Let me see. Hmm. Well, I don't smell any cocoa. Or like like chocolate cocoa, but I don't smell. Maybe a, ooh, wait a minute. Sorry, the, the foam died down. And I do smell a little bit of coconut. Do you smell any of that? Mm-hmm. Interesting. Wow. It reminds me of a mounds, I guess, which is chocolate and coconut. But I'm kind of interested to get give a taste. Ready? Clinky, drinky. Cheers. Oh. You know what? That does like a, taste like a mounds. Would you agree? Mounds? I haven't had mounds in a long time. Uh, I, now I kind of need to go to the store and get some because that's one of my favorite uh, candy bars growing up as a kid. It's quite delicious. You can taste the coconut in there. It's mm -hmm. smooth, and then for some reason, I guess there's some. I'm thinking of it. I kind of got a hint of chocolate as well. Very light hint. I, I don't know. I don't think they put in chocolate. Maybe is, is there any malts or, or uh, any roasted in there? Anything in there? Not that I see. I think it's just because I'm thinking of it too much. Maybe it's just the coconut that it reminds me of it and the color. But 
Anyway, I, I can taste the coconut, and it's a quite delicious. Smooth with, with a little bit of a ting on the back of your tongue as it goes down. Yeah, I could see reducing this and making a uh, sauce for shrimp or something. You know what? That's a good idea. That's a very good idea. Maybe we can do that someday. Maybe maybe you'll do that someday because you know I can't cook. So, what? Um, Kona Brewing Company doing it again? Well, it, nothing overpowering, just kind of mellow and easy, uh, kind of like the, the Hawaiian lifestyle, I guess. Mm -hmm. Very delicious beer. Good job, Kona Brewing Company. Okay. Third one. Third one. Do you want to pick which one you, we want to drink? <laughs> All right. So we have here Honkers Ale from Goose Island. Which uh, I believe is in Chicago. Thereabouts. Yeah, and I believe it was recently purchased by one of the big groups, right? But they don't want us. They don't want us to know that. That they don't have anything. Anything. It's on here. uh. Is it well known now? It's known. Get your drink permission. Use, use the force. All right, look at that. Huh? I hate your little CGI. You know, no, okay, never mind. <laughs> so, ooh, kind of a dark golden color. So tell me about uh, uh, Goose Island. It, it was a craft brew company that did really, really well mm -hmm. and was uh, bought out by one of the big companies. Is that correct? Correct. I was going to say, I think it's Ambev, but I'm not sure. I think you might be right. I know I watched a little, little short on it, you know, where somebody visited them and gave them an interview and, and said, oh, okay, you guys, you know, do a really good job here, but and you are you know, so-and-so big company, right? It's like, yeah. It's like, well, why don't we know about this? And it's just like, well, we want to have the beer to speak for itself. It was kind of interesting. It, <laughs> it was, it's just like they, they are slowly creeping into the craft brew side, but they don't want to anybody to know because, you know, the craft brew community is very tight-knit and, and kind of shuns away from that, uh, that big brand. Plus, there have been instances where big brands have uh, said, oh, okay, we bought them. Now we need to reduce their costs, so let's give them these cheap hops these cheap malts. Not necessarily in this case, I'm saying, but there, well, there, there have been allegations of that in the past with big brand beers. Well, let's hope they uh, keep the recipe true and uh, let's give it a shot. What do you think? Let's give it a smell. Nah, not, not much of a hint there. Get a little hops. Tiny bit. Yeah, uh, it's it just kind of a, in the back back of my nose, it seems like. One more time. Hmm. I don't know. Let's give it a taste though. Thank you. Thank you. My first thought is the texture is a tiny bit watered down. Yeah. Not not as thick. Not. But it is still a pleasing beer to me. Right. It, it's very smooth, uh, smoother than the first one. Mm-hmm. It's uh um yeah it's I, I'm I'm gonna say it's lacking a little bit in substance just because the texture is a little bit kind of feels watered down, but the the flavors are pretty decent. Honkers ale. Forgive him. Yeah. Forgive him. He has a drinking problem. Yes, I do. I, I spill. Um, so it's um, kind of a... I would say it's like you added some darkness to a big brand and it's a little roasted compared to what, what they would have. It's not a bad beer. Um, it, it's smooth and it's probably one of those ones that you can transition into like a darker, like a porter or a stout or something mm -hmm. later on down the road. Mm -hmm. It is, uh, I'd say, a transition beer. G given uh, overall, it's a, it's a decent taste. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a great, what I would say, transition beer. I think we agree on that. <laughs> Just maybe not our favorite. Uh, given that, uh, I think we need to go with uh, a Chris's beer of the day. Do you have a preference? I do, but it's not Keith's beer of the day. Well, okay, Chris's beer of the day is going to be our second one from Kona Brewing Company, the uh, Coco Brown with a little bit of coconut on that. It was nice and smooth. There you go. Yeah, twinkle, twinkle. Little star. <laughs> so uh, it, it was uh, just a delicious, smooth beer. The first one was great. Uh, it had a little too much hops for my palate, but it was uh, still a delicious beer in, in, in its own right. Uh, Honkers Ale still did a good job as well, but I, I want another one of these cocoa, uh, the Cocoa Browns. It was very delicious. Running out of time, thank you guys very much for joining us here on Beer Bros. Like, comment, subscribe right, right there in this area right here. And join us next time and tell us uh, what your, your, your favorite ales are. Any, anything else? That's it. All right, beer bros out. So uh, I like the shirt, by the way. Do you, do you like my shirt? No. No? Why not? Do you like Minecraft? No. No? Well, this guy's pretty famous. We could use a, a BW100 bump. 
Say you like him. Say you like him. Say. I like him. <laughs>